Hi, uh, my name is Mark Florida. I'm a principal uh, program manager on the Microsoft Managed Desktop team. Hey, and I'm Mayang Jen. I'm the end user computing product manager at Microsoft. It's nice to be here with you, Mark. And I'm eager to share some exciting news about a new managed service from Microsoft, as well as other announcements to help meet the growing demand from IT admins to upgrade and manage their Windows 10, Windows 11, and Microsoft 365 apps and endpoint estate. In our new reality of work today, where the endpoint is the new workplace, there are many decisions to be made to continue to transform. From the device to the operating system and applications, each variable needs to be taken into consideration. Most organizations, 90%, anticipate seeing increased usage on cloud platforms than ever before. As a result, optimizing existing investments in cloud solutions remains a top priority for our customers. 80% of companies plan on investing in new and emerging technologies, seeking the most efficient way to deploy, manage, and secure these new endpoints. Customers tell us that rapidly adopting new technology is not just an IT decision, but important for them to stay competitive in their core business. As you know, we recently commissioned Forrester to better understand the perspectives of decision makers on endpoint modernization, including their current situation and interest in reimagining their endpoint estate. 77% of those surveyed agree on the importance of providing the latest technology to their employees. Well, this gives users the latest and greatest devices that they want while giving IT the capability to keep them up to date and secure. And yet, we see about five versions of Windows running in an organization. Clearly, there is a ways to go before companies achieve these desired goals. Our customers have shared that despite their best intentions, there are several reasons Windows updates sometimes fall to the back of the queue. For one, getting the right knowledge and guidance to build a smooth update workflow is just hard. Orgs tend to delay those updates, but that means that users end up dealing longer with issues that may be fixed in the new versions. Organizations may prioritize deploying the latest security tools as part of their cybersecurity strategy, which is great, they may defer something as fundamental as an outdated software patch until it is too late. What if there were a service directly backed by Microsoft to ensure that all your Windows PCs were always fully updated, with each release rigorously tested for driver and first-party app compatibility? What if the service took the cumbersome workflows off your shoulder and provided you with intelligent cloud-powered automation to deliver reliable and guaranteed Windows patch management, office updates, and edge updates according to your schedule. Of course, that service has already existed in part of uh, our Microsoft managed desktop, right? The managed service that helps you run a modern IT environment. Managed, Microsoft managed desktop is a managed IT service that provides patching for Windows and first party apps from Microsoft, analytics on how to optimize the end user experience, endpoint security operations, and guidance for modernizing management processes. Here, we are excited to announce a new tier of that service dedicated to update management and with much lower entry requirements. We are calling the new service Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1. We also continue to enhance the offering that's in market today, which addresses the complete outsourcing needs for customers, and that will be renamed to Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 2. Microsoft Management uh, Managed Desktop Plan 1 will be offered as a monthly subscription, enabling Microsoft engineers to manage your Windows 10 and Windows 11 environments, allowing you and your IT teams to focus on more complex priorities. As a Microsoft run service, Plan 1 will not only manage your Windows 10 and Windows 11 clients, but also Office apps and Edge browser updates. If you're using Active Directory and Configuration Manager, you can still use hybrid Azure AD join and co-management to take advantage of this capability. We believe that what really differentiates this service from other tools is the intelligent insights and learning that we bring from running the cloud operations for Microsoft. This managed service gives you direct access to the people that build these Microsoft products and take advantage of their deep knowledge, 
automation skills and experience for the maximum reliability and highest quality. We listen to our customers and their extensive feedback on our existing service when we designed this new plan, essentially with two principles in mind. Unblocking Windows updates and getting immediate benefits from cloud modernization. Microsoft customers at early stages or partial stages of modern management will be eligible to use this. In fact, by providing expert guidance and skill set, I think it addresses one of the core blockers to update compliance. Plan 1 offloads the routine but necessary tasks to meet those update compliance goals and helps you accelerate the move to Windows 11 with the minimum time, effort, and cost. In turn, these savings can help you and your organizations focus your IT bandwidth on other security and hybrid work projects. Most importantly, by accelerating update deployment timelines, the Plan 1 helps eliminate known vulnerabilities before cyber criminals target your organization. That was a quick overview, but there's so much more we want to share. Mark, why don't you share some of the juicy details I'm sure our audience wants to know. I'd uh, love to. So both uh, Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1 and Plan 2 fully supports Windows 11. As we've communicated, Windows 11 is an upgrade and will not happen unless you explicitly set it to happen. We have designed the upgrade to be the smoothest ever, and if you want to hand off this end-to-end -end process to Microsoft, Plan 1 be, may be exactly what you have in mind. Managed Desktop Service can help you with device hardware readiness, application compatibility, and guidance on end-user experience changes. We want to help you make the upgrade to Windows 11 a great experience. And also, in case you missed it, we've also announced a couple other important additions to the service recently. Microsoft Managed Desktop fully supports Windows 365 Cloud PC, which has seen just tremendous adoption since we released it just a few months ago. And we're also pleased to share that based on all your feedback, we're in the process of adding the service to several new regions uh, globally as well. Watch the product documentation for the latest updates as they become available. Before we dig into the details of Plan 1, let's take a quick look at the other innovations we recently announced. As Mayank mentioned before, the existing service is renamed Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 2. We also made uh, many compatibility improvements for Plan 2, and just to name a few, we've made improvements to our device provisioning story uh, so that we can support the end user status page as well as localized language support as well. To help expand the coverage of the service within a customer environment, we've added support for devices with multiple users, and lastly, we have a path for customers to self-validate and use existing devices. And now for the details on Plan 1. Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1, or P1, is all about easy. Easy for you to keep Windows, Office, Teams, and Edge up to date. As such, we want the prerequisites to be easy for you as well. There are really just two steps to get uh, P1 enabled in your tenant and then enroll your devices in Intune. We are there to help you with these two steps. For example, Configuration Manager customers can use co-management to drive the enrollment. Then once devices are enrolled, our engineers take over. We manage the ring assignment for devices. We look at app usage and other factors to distribute devices between multiple rings, starting with a test ring all the way up to a broad adoption ring. The idea is that we want to catch any issues as early as we can so that we impact the lowest number of devices. We not only set these rings up, but as we all know, uh, devices come and go throughout an environment, so we keep refreshing the ring membership for you over time so that you don't have to do so yourself. We then schedule and deploy updates. The type of updates can range from Windows quality updates to feature updates to major upgrades like Windows 11. The deployments start in the test ring with a relatively small number of devices. Then they move all the way up to the broader rings, which is basically your whole population. We have analytics that look for pattern changes to actual issues. For example, are app crashes going up on your devices? Are we running into performance issues? If everything is great, then we will promote the update to the next ring and so on until we eventually hit that broad ring. However, if the unfortunate happens and there is an issue, then we'll halt the deployment and roll back if necessary. In this case, our engineers will then drive fixes wherever the issue may lie. This could be a change in the actual update, or it could be an app compatibility issue with an ISV. 
And throughout all of this, Microsoft Managed Desktop Service provides customers with reporting to track status on the deployment, how compliance is doing, and how we are meeting our goals as a managed service on your behalf. Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 2 gives you all that that you have in P1 and then focuses on delivering a great end user experience on a protected device, all backed and managed by Microsoft know-how so that you don't have to you know, run it yourself. With Plan 2, we then provide device imaging, provisioning tools such as Autopilot, and we also provide a great first run experience as well. We also, again, provide that same update management story as P1. Uh, plan 2 also provides a rich set of managed policies that are tailored to the needs of different personas that you may have in your environment. This is nice so that you don't have to figure out how to map group policy to MDM policies. You can just assign devices to the right Microsoft managed desktop profile. And then we can take care of the rest, which includes adapting those profiles as Windows and the ecosystem changes. We also want to deliver a great run state for the device. We do this with a device health and performance solution that not only reports on how well devices are running, but with plan two, we can take remediation steps for you as well. And the last major area is around security and keeping these devices protected. We have security baselines that include policies and the use of Microsoft technology, such as Defender, to fulfill this mission, as well as a security operations center to respond to threats. So with all of that, let me kind of turn it over to James, who's going to give you a demo of how this all uh, kind of plays out in real. Excited to see that. Thanks, Mark. Getting started with Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1 is easier than ever. All you need to do is configure your prerequisites, enroll in the service, and register which devices you want Microsoft to manage. Microsoft has several resources to help you with these prerequisites if you need them. Reach out to your account contact for more information. Let's take a look at some highlights. Once your prerequisites are in place, you'll enroll your tenant in Microsoft Managed Desktop. Here you can see there's a readiness assessment that will automatically run to help you make sure your tenant is ready to onboard. Enrolling your tenant is as simple as consenting to Microsoft managing updates on your behalf. After providing consent, Microsoft completes all the other steps for you automatically. We'll manage creating the right policies, groups, etc. All that's left is for you to provide some admin contacts and what devices you want us to manage. These contacts are important. This is who we'll reach out to on your side whenever there is an incident or something that needs your attention. Now that we've got everything set up, you can leave the assessment and deployment of updates to us. Let's take a look at Windows 11 as an example. Windows 11 is fully supported on Plan 1. Whenever a new update is released, you can head over to the Microsoft Managed Desktop Message Center to get all of the details, including when Microsoft Managed Desktop plans to start that rollout. Microsoft Managed Desktop prioritizes quality and compatibility for feature updates, so we always give you at least 30 days notice before these patches go to your test ring, and then a minimum of 30 days in each ring after that. Importantly, we have flexibility for customers who prefer being more aggressive, as well as those who want to be a bit more conservative. When it comes to app compatibility assessment, we have several reports for Microsoft Managed Desktop customers, one of which is the app usage report. This gives you information about which apps are used in your environment the most, so you can easily target any app modernization efforts. We also know that many customers have concerns when new patches are available and deployed. Many customers need this information to be compliant with audit requirements. These reports give you the information to see every patch that's been delivered and how Microsoft performed either for yourself or for your governance bodies. You may ask, what happens if something goes wrong in my environment? Microsoft Managed Desktop has the advantage of seeing the performance of patches across all our customers. So we're able to react to issues proactively that you may not even see or would be very difficult for you to detect. Let's walk through an example. Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1 is backed by automated monitoring and remediation, as well as 24-7 Microsoft employees. In Plan 1, we can and will immediately stop updates that are causing problems without you needing to do anything. We will bring in other Microsoft teams as needed, such as Desktop App Assure, who can work directly with you if it's an app compatibility issue. If it's a bug in a Microsoft product, we can bring in the engineers on those other products to help us fix it. We would then communicate refresh timelines with you when any issues are resolved and the rollout is ready to restart. We will also 
proactively push out of band security updates when needed, as you can see here. These updates are always shared here in the message center, but also with your admin contacts from earlier. There's a lot of exciting things to come for Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1, and I hope you enjoyed an early look. Mayank, why don't you wrap us up? That was a great way for us to see the time, effort, and cost saving that Microsoft Managed Desktop can bring. And we have some other customer studies on the Microsoft website, where if you'd like to see how your peers have experienced these benefits using managed desktops. One of them, MLC Insurance, based in Australia, as you know, started off with the need to work around their inflexible on-premises IT as a response to COVID-19, like all of us. But in fact, they emerged from it with a more modern, a more streamlined, and a more cost-effective IT experience that is sure to pay dividends well into the future. Before we leave, I wanted to summarize some of the key benefits that Mark and James have been talking about from Microsoft Managed Desktop Plan 1. One thing you get is higher returns on your Microsoft investment, now that your IT talent has the bandwidth to work on more strategic uh, projects. We also saw that you get lower cost of ownership for your organizations when you get out of the business of upgrading to Windows 11 and then keeping these PCs evergreen. Allowing Microsoft to accelerate your deployment timelines and success rates, you also get improved security posture and regulatory compliance across all your Windows PCs. Personally, I believe the biggest benefit is just the increase in the NPS or the Net Promoter Score for your IT service experience as rated by your users when you have a well-run IT service. And let's not forget the competitive retention and hiring of the best talent because we know that digital leadership drives business success. So yes, I know we are all excited and we can't wait for the new plan one to be available. And I invite you to please bookmark this link, aka.ms slash mmdignite21, where you will find the latest updates on availability and how you can get started. You can also contact your Microsoft representative if you are interested in early access to the service, and they can help you with all the information that you need. Here are some additional resources to help you learn more. Don't forget to check out the deep dive technical skilling sessions that are available as part of the Ignite content catalog. We both thank you for your time today and invite you to please share your feedback with us. It really helps us learn and do better each time. Thank you so much.